So if you're wondering how to locate the epicenter of an earthquake, what you do is you need to find three different seismograph stations over the world. So in this particular example, I have a seismograph station for Japan, one for Alaska, and one for California. So the same earthquake goes off and seismic waves radiate out in all directions. So what you do is at a particular station, for example Japan, you uh, discover the time when the P wave first arrives, and then you wait and you discover the time for when the S wave arrives. So, as you can see with Japan, there's nine seconds between the arrival of first P wave and first S wave. For Alaska, there's three minutes between the arrival of the first P wave and the first S wave. And for California, there's 25 minutes between the arrival of the first P wave and the first S wave. Just based on that alone, I can tell that Alaska is closest to the earthquake, and I can tell that California is the furthest from the earthquake. You take the nine minutes of difference between P and S wave for Japan, and you go to what's called a travel time graph, and you fit the nine minutes between the P curve and the S curve. Wherever that fits, you look straight down on the X axis, and you calculate the distance that that particular station is from the uh, epicenter of the earthquake. Um, you don't know in what direction, you just know how far away the epicenter is. So you draw a circle around your station with that particular radius, giving you one circle of one size. You take the exact same approach for Alaska. Now, in this particular case, you're going to have a circle for Japan and a circle for Alaska. Two circles will connect, will intersect at two points. We only need one point, so we need to bring in our third station, which is why we bring in California. We repeat the same procedure. We draw a third circle around California, and all three circles will meet at one point, and that point is the epicenter. If you go straight below it, you get the focus of the earthquake. So as you can see in the diagram down here, you can see uh, the little circle for Alaska, you can see the medium-sized circle for Japan and the big circle for California, and they all intersect at one point called the epicenter.